To have somebody who just sees the joy in life is invaluable. You just got that joy to them. That, that just comes out of them. It's contagious. Nah, those are not my words, but the words of Maverick's owner, Mark Cuban, on Boban Marjanovic. Boban Marjanovic, the 7'4 gentle giant, is taking the NBA by storm. But it's not just his height that's got everyone talking. It's why NBA players just can't get enough of him. He is more than just a giant on the court. He's a giant personality. But what is it that makes Boban so lovable? Is it his infectious smile or his soft-spoken personality? Stay tuned as we dive into the reasons why this Serbian sensation is winning over everyone on and off the court. So whether you're a fan of the game or just love a good laugh, you won't want to miss this. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great content. Boban was born in 1988 in Bojovec, Eastern Serbia, and it is here that he discovered his love for basketball at the age of 10. In 2010, Boban decided to take his game to the next level and move abroad and play two seasons in Russia and Lithuania. But in 2012, he returned to Serbia and began a stretch that would change his basketball career forever. Boban was named Serbian League MVP for three straight seasons. Yeah, that's right. MVP for three consecutive times. And this made him one of the most dominant players in the country. It was this that made him be noticed by NBA scouts. And he soon signed with the San Antonio Spurs. And since joining the Spurs in 2015, Boban has been incredibly effective when he's on the court. But as you know, he's always struggled to find consistent minutes. The main reason? If you don't know, don't worry, I got you. Boban is a traditional center in an era when no one actually plays center anymore. But despite this, Boban has managed to make a name for himself in the league influence on the team. We've all heard the phrase, there's more ways to contribute to a basketball team than just scoring. Well, I'm here to confirm to you that it's true. It can mean things like grabbing rebounds, defending the opponent's top score, or dishing out assists. But for Boban Marjanovic, it's more than just what happens on the court. This guy has been stealing the spotlight everywhere he's been. Not only is he a dominant force on the court whenever he's called upon, but he's also known as a great locker room guy. He has been establishing amazing romance relationships with his teammates, and it has been paying off big time. And it shouldn't be underestimated, guys. I know some of you might say, this is just a lighthearted aspect of the game. But the truth is, strong team chemistry is a crucial factor for teams that aim for the big wins. Just by looking at his stats, you might think that he's had a mediocre NBA career. But there's more to Boban than just numbers on the page. You see, Boban is more than just a basketball player. He's a team player in every sense of the word. He brings energy, positivity, and a great sense of humor to every team he's been on. So while his stats may not jump out at you, just remember that there's more to Boban than meets the eye. In an interview with ESPN, Boban's sister, Vesna Bogojevi said, Boban simply radiates positive vibes, and that energy draws people to him. And people love that about him, and respect him for that. And that's exactly what's been happening everywhere he's been. To put this into more perspective, Hello guys, my name is Bob Marjanovic. Welcome to the media Dallas Mavericks Day. I enjoy, have Happy fun, heart. all heart, all love from you, for you guys. Let's go. Thanks for following me and Bob on Media Day. See ya. Boban actually finished as the runner up in the 2021 22 Twyman Stokes Teammate of the Year Award, coming in just behind Drew Holiday. For those that aren't familiar with the Twyman Stokes Teammate of the Year Award, it's given to the player who is deemed the best teammate based on various criteria. This includes selfless play, leadership both on and off the court, being a mentor and role model to other NBA players, and a commitment and dedication to their team. So even though Boban didn't take home the award, it's clear that he's highly respected by his peers and is considered one of the best teammates in the league. His former coach at the Dallas Mavericks, Jason Kidd, said he's a perfect example of being a true pro. He's always prepared when his name is called. He does all the extra work. He's the last one to leave the gym a lot of times. His spirit is high. Marjanovic's key contribution is team chemist. He's great at keeping things loose on the bench and making sure everyone is having a good time. That might sound silly and you might be thinking, how important can having a good time really be in the world of professional basketball? Well, as you know, the NBA is a long grind, both physically and mentally. It helps to have someone who's perpetually in a good mood. Just ask Luca how important this is. He acknowledged this by saying, he's amazing. You don't meet these people every day, you know? He will help you anytime. It's just great to have him here. Boban, two lines, please. Boban, Boban, Boban! Marjanovic didn't score a lot, but he was definitely lifting the Mavericks last season in other ways. 
fan favorite. The Houston Rockets center on paper is just like any other role player in the NBA. With five seasons under his belt and playing for six different teams, his statistics are unremarkable, never averaging more than 14 minutes per game. But despite his lack of on-court success, Boban has become a fan favorite everywhere he goes. During his rookie season in San Antonio, one fan was so passionate about Boban that he got his face shaved into his head. And while in Philadelphia, fans eagerly followed the bromance between Marjanovic and Tobias Harris, Bobby and Toby, as they were known. Bobby and Toby Toby quickly became fan favorites. Their bromance was something that everyone eagerly followed and talked about, whether it was on the court or off. Brad Day is my brother here. This side, this side, this side. My brother. Hey, what's good? You look, you looking fresh? Hey, you need a haircut. Hey, you looking fresh? Good luck. Hey, good luck. Hey, good luck to them in the game. These two were always by each other's side, creating an unforgettable bond. Tobias once said in an interview, what I always loved about Bobby was, you know, he never had a bad day. I mean, Stan Van Gundy said that. He's like, Bobby never has had a bad day. And it's a true thing. He really doesn't. He always has a good day. Unless, like, you go to a restaurant and they don't have soup, then his day's bad. That goes to show that these two were really close. As a role player, like Marjanovic, it can be very difficult to make a name on a national stage. He's not known for lighting up the scoreboard or hitting game-winning shots. But in one of his games while at Dallas, it was him, not Luka Doncic or Kristaps Porzingis, who put on the headset to talk with the guy on TNT's inside the NBA. That's Charles, Shaq, Kenny, and Ernie. This shows just how valuable Marjanovic is to his team and how much respect he has earned from his peers. Bobby had never been interviewed by those guys before, and he was so excited to finally get the chance. To start the interview, Boban said, It's my first time here and I'm nervous. I'm scared because my headphones don't fit into my ears on my head. If I break it, I would buy a new one, I promise. Hilarious, isn't it? Film industry. Besides being on the court, Boban has been making the most of the basketball lifestyle, experiencing all the perks that come with being a professional athlete. In 2018, while driving to a workout, Boban got a text message from his agency saying that Chaz Stahelski, the director of John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum, had interest in casting him in the movie. Stahelski wanted an actor who was fun and interesting, and yet gigantic. He told the Wall Street Journal, and one of the producers happened to be a basketball fan and suggested, who else if not the big man himself, Boban Marjanovic. And that's how the seven for a Serbian basketball player found his way onto the big screen. Boban ended up portraying an assassin who attempts to kill Keanu Reeves in the library. Spoiler, he fails and ends up being murdered by John Wick with a book. Boban may not be the most statistically impressive player in the NBA, but he is definitely a fan favorite. From his commercial appearances to his viral YouTube skits and even his own non-fungible tokens, Boban has certainly made a name for himself. Despite his average stats, Boban is truly an undeniable star. He is the guy that any team wants to add to your squad when it comes to keeping everybody in good spirits along the way. He might not be as talented and versatile as some of his teammates, but he's still a skilled basketball player with a great work ethic.